It's cold, yo. Hey, um, um, <laughs> I came out of there like a dog on turtle. <laughs> uh, I came to ruin your childhood. Can't help myself. I love it. It's the holidays. So, you know, all of those songs that you like to play over and over again, like uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. For those of you who are, you know, holiday oriented, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And um, what else? Do, uh, jingle bells or jingle bell rock and all that. I came to screw up. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for you. Now, granted, this is just something that someone traumatized me with years ago. And I just never brought back up. And it's not 1,000% factual. It's it's like, you know, 999% factual. And the only reason I can say there's a 1% that isn't quite correct is because if you know the science and uh, longitudinal locations of something, this could change some things. So first and foremost, first and foremost, how are you today? I hope you enjoyed my vlog yesterday if you watched it with me cackling, explaining how I almost died laughing. Things got real. Okay, um, so first and foremost, Rudolph. <laughs> Rudolph the Red Nose Right There is one of my absolute favorite holiday songs. Um, the Christmas holiday, and I've brought this up before, Halloween and Christmas. My mother was a very holiday-oriented kind of woman. She loved celebrations and, and family time and all that. But um, Thanksgiving was... My big deal holiday, Halloween made a big deal for the entire family because of my mom. And then Christmas was like really her jump off, her and my grandmother. So for those of you who are not acclimated to my channel uh, or you haven't really heard me talk much about my family, uh, my mother, uh, God rest her soul, she passed away seven years ago. And she was a tremendously hilarious woman and a tremendously emotional woman. Her heart was very much open to all of the magic of the world and she felt god's love and people's love the most on christmas however comma don't let it fool you how i speak about her this woman was nuts she was a little cray cray and um she used to sing songs to me during christmas time that would tickle me half to death so she had a version of jingle bells that's just morbid as all get out that i'm gonna gladly sing for you all after I jack you up about Rudolph. Okay, so Rudolph, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. You know, I had fun with it as a kid because I was a very responsible child. I didn't start turning into a total butthole until I was uh, preteen. Um, but I really liked the fact that we could sing the song and add words to it. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw it, you would say it glows like a light bulb. Like I liked that. I really did so much so that not too long ago, I think. Um, while I was in Germany, it wasn't even Christmas yet, but I had a dream and like everyone was singing Rudolph the Red Nose uh, Reindeer to me. And it got to the part where it says, Santa came to say, Rudolph with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? And I responded with, absolutely not. I will not glide your sleigh. Little did I know, little did I know that maybe a week or so after leaving <laughs> Germany, I would find out just how closely me, a female, saying no would be so close to freaking Rudolph. But I want to tell you a couple things you might not know about Rudolph. Number one, uh, reindeer and caribou are the same thing. Mm -hmm. So if you're under, ever wondering, like, why can't I find Santa's reindeer? You know, if it ever appeals to you. Uh, historically, European and Asian reindeer and American caribou were considered to be two different species, but they're actually one and the same. So they're not cousins. They are the same. Same! Just regional differences. So that's kind of like if you live in America, your family and members in the South, you know, you might put on some weight and you be trying to lose it and they think you're the finest thing since sliced bread. It Just regional differences. Just regional differences. So they go by many names, all of which seem appropriate. Reindeer come from the Old Norse word from hrin, modigal, <laughs> hrinin, which means horned animal, but that's not what appeals the most to me. Sometimes they're called cattle and uh, pua and a whole bunch of other things, but what I want to get to is the names. Um, we're going to go back to one of those too. So reindeer were originally connected to Santa through poetry, so it's not anything new. We first found out the, about them about a visit from St. Nicholas, and most of us in America know that as the story of the night before Christmas, and that was written in 1823, 1823. God, my mouth, my mouth, 
But that's when we found out that they were Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Dunder, Dunder, and Blixem, Blixem. And they ended up being changed from Dutch to German, becoming Donner and Blitzen, Donner and Blitzen. But they used to be Dunder and Blixen, which is basically Thunder and Lightning. Okay. Um, then we get to this little interesting part right here. <laughs> Uh, it's not always easy to tell the sex of a reindeer because in most deer species, only the male grow antlers, but that's not true for most reindeer, which brings me to my magical dun dun dun. Santa's reindeer may or may not have been female. Rudolph and all the girls who helped guide Santa to be the most impactful man of the year could have been chicks they were the original og females now why 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 i know you're like ashley no shut up yes i am here to tell you why because deer caribou bucks bucks are the guys they shed their antlers <laughs> now 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 wait 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 now it seasonally they shed them right before christmas and if you look at all of the pictures of santa with his sleigh and his deers Clearly, they all have antlers. Sure cannot be them. Plus, think of those names. Like, why would you call why would you call a boy a vixen? Not that you can't. This is all before gender norms became shattered tremendously in this current generation. But like you got a you got a, a deer named Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, like Cupid, Comet. Like, these are all names that could pretty much go either way, but doesn't it appeal to you more thinking that it's females and Rudolph was the one they needed the most? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is the story of the original Mean Girls long before we ever knew what Mean Girls were. And if you get a little bit more specific about it, you go into the science of it. It depends upon where in the country that caribou and, and deer are. Some of them lose their horns in January and February, I'm sorry, antlers. Some lose it in January, February, some uh, as early as January up until April. So there's some science there that could, you know, challenge me jacking up your childhood. But what I want you to know, what I want you to know is you've been thinking about female getting bullied by some mean ass other reindeer your whole life. And I find it hilarious. <laughs> I don't find the bullying hilarious. I find it hilarious that we have this story about overcoming meanness and whatnot when the entire time we were talking about the power of females. I love the fact that Santa can't get through the air without women because we rock. So that's my story. I just wanted to destroy Christmas for you in that kind of way and have you Googling shit and looking for answers. Now, let me sing Jingle Bells for you the way that my mother used to. <clears throat> Jingle bells, you have to sing it like that. Jingle bells, Santa Claus is dead. <laughs> teddy bears, teddy bears. I have to edit this for, you know, video purposes. So, popped him in the head. Word really starts with an S. G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe. Try to save his life. <laughs> Barbie doll. Barbie doll. Stabbed him with a knife. <laughs> she was nuts. I love and miss her so much. Any Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, any other random holiday things that have been destroyed for you? Maybe not holiday. Maybe Disney has been. The older you've gotten, the more stories have been changed. I live for moments like this. So <laughs> I hope you're not emotionally bruised for too long. I'm going to go take this coat off now. It's time to get ready to get to bed. That was fun. Bye, y'all. <laughs>